day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over how to find roots of numbers using the TI-83 calculator. Before we get started with some examples, we're going to take a look at the property of exponents that guides the um, whole process of using um, the calculator to find the roots of numbers. Okay, So the formula, this is known as the fractional exponents property okay the fractional exponents property now what's the property here let's say you have x raised to the nth power and you then proceed to take the mth root of that using the fractional exponents property this can be written as x raised to the n divided by m okay now with that in mind Let's consider some examples. So the task is to use your um, TI calculator. This pro procedure works for um, Texas Instrument calculators of any kind and also other calculators equipped with the exponential feature. Okay, so use your TI calculator to um, find the following. Let's start with something that is familiar, okay? So number one, what if you were asked to find the square root of 16? What is the square root of 16 going to be? Of course, we know the answer is four, but let's go ahead and use our calculators to solve this. The focus is accurately entering the um, terms into your calculator so you can get the correct result. So we have, square root of 16 press enter which is 4 okay what makes the process easy is um, that we have the square root button right on the main screen okay so we just simply take the square root of 16 which gives you 4 now let's consider something a little bit different let's say we we're asked to find the third root of 8 we want to find the third root of 8 using our calculators. Now this is a different situation. If you take a look at all the buttons on your TI-83 and other TI calculators, you do not have um, the third root or the cube root. So does this mean that we cannot use our calculators to find what the value of this term is? And the answer is no. So we can, it's possible to use our calculators. All we have to do is apply the fractional exponents property here and we're good to go. Now the power of eight, since there's no power indicated, we have the invisible power, which is one. Okay, so using the rational exponents property, the third root of eight to the first power is eight to the, the power becomes a numerator and the root becomes the denominator. So we're gonna have 8 to the one-third. That's what we're going to be looking for. Okay, so let's um, go ahead and enter that into our calculators. We're going to enter 8 raised to the. Now since we are entering a fractional term, we need to communicate that with the calculator. Okay, how do you com communicate that to the calculator? You use parentheses. Okay, parentheses 1 divided by 3 and you have and you press enter and your answer is 2 okay so you can clearly see that the answer is 2 so the syntax as to how you write this let's put that on the side is you go 8 and then the carrot button um, what the carrot button does is that it gives you access to the um, exponential um, numbers okay so when we press 8 and then the carrot button is on different places in different calculators so this one is underneath the clear button when we press the carrot now everything that enters the, the whatever goes next to the carrot is the um, value for the exponent if you have multiple terms you have to use parentheses to communicate that to the calculator and then enter your terms 1 divided by 3 because we have a um, fractional exponent situation here. That's how it got to. So um, 
syntax, we have eight caret, parentheses, one divided by three, and then you close the parentheses to tell the calculator that you're done entering the value for the exponent of the exponent with the base of, base of eight. So we see that our answer is two. Okay, let's try another example, number three. Now what I'd like you to do is write down this problem, the fourth root of 81, enter it in your calculator. So what you're going to do is um, try and do this problem without referring to what I did earlier. Okay, so enter this into your calculator um, and then see what the answer is. You can pause this video um, while you do that entry. All right, so what we're going to do here is, first of all, we're going to use the fractional exponents property to write this as a fractional exponent. So we have 81. 81 has that invisible exponent, 1. So that exponent becomes the numerator of the fractional exponent divided by, the denominator is the root, divided by 4. Okay? So this, we can enter into our calculators. So let's do it. We have 81 and then the caret button takes you to the exponential field so put the parenthesis since we have multiple values that are going there so we have one divided by four and then you close your exponent enter and your answer is three okay so the syntax is the same as um, before you just enter the base 81 caret takes you to the exponential field and then you enter the fractional exponent. Okay, so caret parenthesis one divided by four. Okay, and that will give you your answer. All right, let's consider a slightly more complicated example that will really uh, push your skills. What if the base of our root is a fraction? What if we want to calculate calculate the third root of 27 over 8 using your calculators. How do we do this? Now we're going to go ahead and um, use the fractional exponents property again uh, to enter this, okay? So first things first, we're going to group this fraction, we'll group it together, so we'll have 27 over 8. These two terms are being raised to the imagine uh, to the to a power which is 1. If there is no number there, the invisible exponent is 1. And then we're taking the third root of this entire expression. Okay, so now applying the fractional exponents property, this becomes 27 over 8. The power becomes the numerator of the fractional exponent and the root is the denominator. Okay, so 27 over 8 raised to the one-third power. What is the answer going to be? All right, so we have a fraction here. Do we just go 27 divided by 8? No, that's not good. What we want to do to ensure that the accurate uh, fractional term is exponentiated, we must put 27 divided by 8 in its own parentheses. Okay, so always use graph um, grouping the grouping symbol parentheses. Use it um, as much as possible in order to communicate clearly uh, with the calculator. Okay, all right, so you have 27 over 8 raised to the you use caret to access the um, exponent field of your um, exponential term here and then you open it with parentheses and then you have 1 divided by 3 close that and the answer is 1.5 or 3 over 2 okay so the answer is um, 1.5 and if you want to express your answer in as a fraction, you just press math and then enter 
enter and then 3 over 2 is the equivalent fraction to 1.5 so it's 1.5 or 3 over 2 and that's your your answer all right so let's go ahead and consider what the syntax is what is the the appropriate way to enter this um, term this radical term into our calculator so we did um, 27 parenthesis 27 divided by 8 okay we grouped the fraction in its own parenthesis and then we exponentiated the entire fraction parenthesis again because we have multiple terms in the exponent 1 divided by 3 and there we entered the um, expression and we got 1.5 as our final answer thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation really appreciate it if you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your mastery on how to use the TI-83 do give us a thumbs up your positive feedback is very valuable to us if you have any questions or comments on how to use um, the TI-83 or other Texas instrument calculators in general just place your questions in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to support you. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other cool math tutorials such as this. More clips can be found on mathgutserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.